How you doing? I'm Chris from CBM Motorsports. We want to be able to give our customers the best possible product for the best possible price. So whether you go to us or you go to any one of my competitors, my best advice to give to you is to pick a shop on reputation, pick a shop on the ability to stand behind their work. Do your research. Make sure that you're going to get quality parts. But at least the one thing we can do with integrity is we sell you and give you what you bought. We don't sell you X and give you Z. You're always aware of what you get from CBM and you can be well assured that down the road, if you have to take your motor apart, you're gonna have the parts that you purchased in that motor. For example, we had a brand new engine build that we did for a customer, got the motor build, the customer had an engine failure, takes their engine to another shop. The shop did not properly clean the intake manifold when reinstalling the engine. So what happens? We get the vehicle back here. Metal parts from the old engine inside the new engine cylinders. Knocking noise, pull the intake off, oil, grime, grease, old parts from this old blown up motor. The person from a shop goes, hey, I can get a better deal getting Joe to install it down the street, but that Joe costs the customer $4,000 to repair his brand new engine. Another thing is, let's talk a little bit about cars on the dyno. We get cars on the dyno that come in all the time. We get brand new cars that come in, four or five pulls on the dyno, the car is perfectly tuned, the car goes away. Other times we get cars that come from these other shops. Car comes in, customer doesn't know, it's not his fault, he had no idea, but he comes in, he has injectors in his motor that are literally three times the size of what's probably needed to get his achieved horsepower. It's all about getting the right combination of the parts. Also on our website, we offer a four page document that you can look at. You could probably learn a lot from it, but this is like a pre-dyno check sheet. These are the things that are required for your car before we put it on the dyno. I've had cars that literally the engine was sitting in the car, the wiring harness was in the back seat of the car, and they showed up for a dyno appointment. It's not that the customer thought that we could do it, the customer is just uninformed of the things that are necessary to get your car on the dyno. You can't bring your car with tires that are 12 years old and have cracks on the side. There's safety issues. You want to make sure that you don't have the fuel tank sitting in the passenger seat. You want to make sure that the car has brakes. You want to make sure that there's actually a driver's seat in the car that we can chassis dyno your car. Here at CBM, we're here for you at any time. You need us to, to give you advice. You need us to sell you parts. Even if you don't buy the part from us, we'd be much happier that when you brought your car to the dyno, that you had the proper parts installed. If you find a part that's cheaper, give us a call. 99 times out of 10, we'll match that, that price. We're here for you at any time. We just care about your welfare. We care about you going out and having a good time. So please give us a call. Let us earn your business. Thanks a lot. From Chris at CBM Motorsports, until next time.